Yes, indeed. We got hippos. A happy Wednesday, everybody. We have good music, good food, and some fun tips as we continue our wedding week. Ah, oh, and nice refreshments out there. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky, filling in for Fiona. And we are continuing with our wedding week. Along with the wedding comes yep. all the gifts. Ooh, Sometimes yes. maybe a re thank you gift, notes. right? Well, have you yes. Ever done it? Sometimes you get multiples, so. So, so you've done it. <laughs> well, okay. Here's, it wasn't a, a true re-gift, I guess, because we had gotten two crystal okay. vases that uh -huh. were identical. I was going to take one back anyway. Yeah. We had to go to a wedding. Okay. So I just wrapped that one I back mean, up. I mean, why go and back and like buy that. something else, So right? technically it wasn't a re-gift. <laughs> it was a nice re-gift. Technically. And it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, right? I guess. As long as you take the Is price it? tag off or you don't give re -gift it to the person that gave it to you sometime down the road. <laughs> yes. Careful. So we want to know, have you ever re-gifted something? Tell us your story. We'll share it a little later in the show. And it doesn't have to be a bad thing, right? Mike? No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> as long as you've done it. Hey, you know, we're talking about number one on the list is usually the bride. You know, groom's down the list. Uh, cake and food, though. Oh, we are food. talking food yes. and some really good food from Box Street Social and... Edward Garcia, you're here yes, to cook with yes, us. Yes. It smells good. And let me tell you, he he is excited about this yes, pasta. We've got pasta, uh -huh. and we have got some beautiful, beautiful pork belly Look in there. Yes, some nice crispy pork belly, definitely. So we're going to make a crispy pork belly with some uh, linguine pasta. Okay, so just dump yeah, this in just here. Yeah, just throw those bad boys on there as much or as little as you like. No one's going to be judging. That's yeah, a good amount. We're, we're so, going yeah. for the whole thing. Why not? <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, so just toss those around. While you're tossing those around, we're going to get a little bit of these mm. uh, tomatoes, and we'll oh, try okay. cutting these bad boys. Oh, Definitely, right. yeah. Now, as far as wedding food, what do you usually recommend? Obviously, something that may not be... So we get a lot of really cool, untraditional brides, so where they want something a little bit different with this, uh -huh. maybe even sliders. We've done wings for weddings, so Ooh. it's just a lot of cool, a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. different items. So it's you take a lot special requests, pretty much. I sit down with everyone, and we talk about the menu, so we custom do pretty much every menu that, and every wedding that we do. So, so we've got the pork bellies in here. We've got some great asparagus. Yeah, so there's no need to throw some in. extra oil on there. And we want to get almost like that bacon flavor with, you know, bacon wrapped asparagus, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I see. So we want that. So that's why we have mm. those asparagus in there. Toss those around. Let them get brown a little bit. Yes, sir. Is there anything, if somebody came to you with, with ideas for wedding food, that you would say, not a good idea for um, a big party? Okay, yes. Two things. <laughs> uh, French fries, just because, you know, no one likes cold soggy fries. Okay. And, second, yeah. and secondly, I haven't really uh, mastered the uh, art of pizza making for, like, that many people. Got okay. It. That can get tricky quickly. You know, if you have 100 and mm -hmm. 250 people that are just want their pizza, that's, that, that gets pretty tricky. And stick to a white sauce as opposed to a red sauce when you're eating pasta, right? <laughs> that's a good idea, too. Okay. Uh, now what do we do? I've yeah, so let's throw down okay. a little bit of uh, that, uh, that Pinot Grigio. Okay, throw just a nice yeah. good splash. Yeah, just a nice little splash. That's perfect. <laughs> You see, you said yeah. little splash. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. So, <laughs> what does that add to it? There? Um, that's gonna have some flavor, and that's gonna help with the sauce to not break. So oh. it's gonna be some nice flavor on there. All right. Oh, so the, the wine can... helps the sauce not break. Yeah, definitely. Oh. So, do you ever make this cream sauce and it just breaks? Let's um, get some pasta oh, in there. The pasta yeah, first. Yeah, let, let me get some up in there. <laughs> you want it? Okay. Go. That's fine. You take over. Yeah, that's perfect right there. <laughs> I was gonna. Because if you throw everything in there, it's not he, all gonna fit. Yeah, he knows you know. I was gonna dump the whole yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> There you go. That's wow. beautiful. All right. So yeah. pasta is one of the favorites then on the menu for weddings, uh, would you say? Definitely. Uh, I mean, ev everyone's different, and mm -hmm. that's why we do talk to everyone. And it also depends on the time of the year. Got so it. this is kind of light, but with the pork belly, it definitely brings it in, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so throw about a quarter oh. of that um, heavy cream up. Just a quarter cream. of it? Yeah, about a quarter of it. That's like that? nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Right. We're going to let that kind of uh, reduce down a little bit, but you can also throw some of that Parmesan cheese up in there. Yum. Ooh, and yeah. you've got the, the Also, good not all of it, just like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but no one's going to judge if uh, you throw it all. It's, it's, it's all good. And you recently did a Definitely. wedding, right? Yeah, so what, we pretty much, serve there? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we do uh, weddings pretty much every weekend. Uh, even though we're a food truck, we call ourselves a kitchen on oh, wheels. Oh, look at the photo. So I that, love um, that. Wow. You know, we take everything Aww. on site and we cook everything on site. So it's pretty amazing. And everyone loves us because you can smell the food. You're like, oh my God, this was so You're different. That guy. It was amazing. Yeah. You're like, you come with the food. Well, the that's smell why we're the, the food. you know, that's why we're box free social because we definitely want to be part of the party, not just mm -hmm. like on the outside. You You're know? in the wed wedding so, album, I'm sure. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and that is also, I mean, a lot of folks want to get away from maybe the traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. and 100%. Doing it like that because it's more mm -hmm. of a, a casual, friendly event yeah. instead of being locked down and there's at room a table for or something. And there's room for everyone. Everyone's different and it's great. And that's where. We figured out like, hey, you know, brides really love this. It's it's really cool. So it's and it just a lot of fun. And it brings people together, yeah. food in general. So yes. why not have it in yeah. a food truck? All right, so we can get some of these tomatoes and and toss them in there. Okay. okay. 
pop okay. that baby you in like there. Like that. You okay. definitely want that color, <laughs> that color pop. There we go. Okay, and then just plate yeah, it up. Yeah, turn it off, and we can throw some of those, uh, some some <laughs> oregano up in there. I like so that. oregano. Yeah, then, some fresh oregano. Yes, so go ahead pretty. and just toss, oh my gosh. toss it in there. Uh, you gotta get look that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's look so at, are, um, you busy this weekend? Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. gonna need some help. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna be eating all he of this totally stuff. Because look it. at the beautiful yes. colors in there. The the, the great green oh, yes. with the asparagus and the nice tomatoes. The pop in there, and you got the. Mm, the aroma from the, the white wine as yes. well. Uh, so um, to find us, you can find us on all the social media outlets. Um, also at uh, um, theboxtreesocial.com. Okay. okay. our website. All well, right. We've got the entree. Dessert is going to be yes. coming up. And, it looks ooh, amazing. Peach pe mascarpone, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to tell you how to make that. It's uh, fairly easy to make. So food is a great way to someone's, or you go through, to their heart through the stomach like that. But how about something... Maybe words on paper. Yeah, love letters. I mean, that says a lot, right? Yes, it does. Um, yeah, there's a viral love letter exchange that's uh, making There is. Yeah, t a letter uh, Timothy sending yeah. the, the hippo, sending letters to, to Fiona. Fiona? Yeah, Fiona. Or Fiona. Does her husband know about this? Yeah, I think this is a big misunderstanding. Take a, oh. take a look. <laughs> Did I Let's see what this what this says? My name is Timothy. I recently moved out of my mom's house to San Antonio. My grandpa, Tumbo, was a cover model for National Geographic magazine. Grandma says that's where I get my great looks. I've seen your pictures and videos on the internet. Oh my gosh, this is just so sweet. Hey, Fiona, welcome to San Antonio Zoo. I'm glad Hi. you came today. How are you? I'm good. I I just got this this letter, uh, you know, uh, sent to you know, sent to me from from somebody named Timothy. I mean, I'm I'm well, really flattered. It's very sweet, yeah, well, but I mean, well, I'm I'm married. Our, uh, our CEO is is Tim Morrow, but he's married too. I think. Yeah, no, I don't think it's oh. Tim. It's from Timothy. I, I, yeah, he's a, he's a big guy. He's, he's a hippo. Oh, no, no, I mean, that, that just means there's more to love. I mean, no need to say that. No, Fiona, literally, Timothy is a hippo. It's a hippopotamus. Check it out. Oh, so not, not me, Fiona. Yeah, let me tell you this story. There is well, a baby hippopotamus at the Cincinnati Zoo and uh -huh. Botanical Gardens that he, well, you know, kind of has a crush on her. And so he wrote her a letter on, on uh, social media and uh, she responded and the world kind of responded and he's an internet sensation. So how is he doing? Does he daydream about her a lot? Well, I, I can't speak for what he's actually thinking, but uh, but I know he seems to have a great time here at San Antonio Zoo. You want to meet him? Yeah. All right. Come on, let's go. So it's been really interesting. His tweets and Facebook posts have gone viral around the world, and here he is right now. This is Timothy. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Hi. this is Kat and Leo, some Hi, of his Fiona. keepers. Hi. I, I, I know I'm probably not the Fiona you were expecting. <laughs> or hoping to see, I, I should say. <laughs> You're a little smaller. <laughs> Well, this is Timothy. Timothy is going to be three years old in just a few weeks in April. April 14th is his birthday. If you'd like, do you want to give him some of his favorite treats? Sure. He loves lettuce, Love le oh, romaine. You can ready. throw it right in there. Here we go. Ah, say ah. Yay! <laughs> nice. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. <laughs> So he, like I said, he's almost three years old. He hasn't lived at the San Antonio Zoo for very long, not even a year. In fact, right next to him is Uma. Uma is his grandmother. She's 43 years old. So are these guys endangered? They are. Hippos are endangered due to habitat destruction and poaching. And a lot of people don't realize that, I think because there's so many animals that we're all focusing on out in the environment, out in Africa, which is why the story of Timothy and Fiona and their online love affair is so cute because it really does draw attention to their species and helps people to really fall in love and find a new way to connect with an 
an animal that they might not otherwise see if they didn't get the chance to come to a zoo. And hopefully the best case is that we will want those people to look into how they can help save hippos and other species as well. They that is so, so cool. Cute. Yeah. I think he might have a crush on Fiona now. She <laughs> fed him and all that. You can read the full letter on the San Antonio Zoo's Facebook page. So go and read the love that's in the air from the hippos. <laughs> Sorry. All right, coming up. <laughs> homemade peaches and mascarpone. A perfect sweet for after you say, I do. That's next. And still ahead, wedding day makeup tips that will help you have that perfect look last all night long. And that's a big deal. That's coming up. And table decor tips that look expensive but fit your budget. Stay with us. It's dessert time. We've got some peaches and some homemade mascarpone, which is a perfect wedding dessert. A couple little... Uh, mint leaves in there as well. Edward Garcia, owner of Box Street Social, is back and uh, still digging in that yes. pasta over oh, there, yes. huh? Yes, I love asparagus. It's <laughs> delicious. That is so good. Okay, so let's get into this dessert here. We've got fresh peaches. and Very simple, but so elegant. Easy, like you can do it at home right now. Okay, All right, how do we first, start? let's Hot throw pan. a little bit of butter in there. About half of that is good. Ah, uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Yes, and then we're going to throw a little bit of this sugar and then dump All the right. peaches up in there. Okay, put the peaches yeah, in. Yeah, dump them in there, yes. So we just want to get a little bit of that caramelization going. Mm -hmm. He just wants some color. Okay. Yeah. And the sugar will melt in the butter. Yes, it's being nice and caramelized. It's okay, if you're looking nice at it going it. sugar and butter, it's dessert. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna I mean, eat a gallon of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is meant to like you know hopefully have someone else with you. But if not, it's fine. Like no one's watching. You know, <laughs> if you're alone, no one's watching you. So <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, I like the way it thinks. It's good. <laughs> you're yeah, good and to go. this is also something nice to do at, at home even because it is really simple, but it looks. Very, very elegant and like you spend a long time, like it's yeah. a complicated thing. No, right? it's, it's um, super simple, especially with making the um, mascarpone cheese. So it's okay. really easy to make. Well, okay, how do you make mascarpone All right, cheese? So it's pretty much, you want to uh, bring heavy cream to like a light simmer mm -hmm. and then um, add some lemon juice to it. It's going to curdle, it's going to come together and just look nice and creamy. It's, it's pretty crazy. What does the lemon juice do? Um, it just kind of brings it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to cut it, you know, just Got like it. the same with a ricotta. Okay. So would that be compared to like a sweet, uh, sweet sour cream? Pretty much, oh, exactly. Okay. Not an ice yeah, cream cause, or? Yeah, because it, it, it has a texture of like whipped cream because we did whip it as well after. Okay. But then, uh, you know, it does have like that cheese aftertaste, you know, like that sour cream aftertaste. Okay. okay? Or the creme fraiche. So it is whipped up, but it's but it's a little heavier, a little denser than exactly. actually whipped cream. Yes, sir. Okay. How long do you have to yeah. whip the cream? So you let it sit overnight once you simmered it, and uh -huh. then um, you whip it till you get like those nice peaks. Got so it. maybe like a minute and a half or so. Oh, thank right. you, Ted. Ted knew I wanted okay. this. It's almost like, <laughs> like a bananas, uh, bananas foster. Or yeah, you like that, yeah, so. you okay. definitely don't want all that extra stuff on there, and you can actually get, get these peaches. Peaches, if you're grilling outside, you get these peaches and toss them on the grill. You Ooh. get those nice marks, yeah. And at that point, you really just need a, you don't need any butter and just a little less sugar. And you and you get the natural caramelization, exactly. and natural sugar. Yeah, so let's get okay. some of these bad boys out right here. Okay. All right. So you're not just gonna dump wow. all the stuff in there. Uh, not right now, but uh, <laughs> you can definitely do it. That's that's for later, just to yes, like soak bread yes, in or yes. something like that. And then, and now then you would want to cool that because this will kind of fall apart a little yeah, bit. And, and you definitely don't want to burn your tongue, but you get some of okay. that uh, mascarpone. Okay. Just and throw just, it on, yeah, dollop it. Uh, it it's, it's good to go, yeah. Let's get like some a, more, yeah. Eh, let's get some just more. Just okay. come on, Mike, more. But, uh, a little but, more for But you see how it melts a little bit since, okay. since it is pretty hot. And you know? then. And then from this point, you just get a little so bit of these right here. Just throw them on there. All right. And, and that's how simple it is. Yeah, and so we're actually going to finish it off with this lemon uh, mm. verbena uh, honey that I get from Deep River um, Specialty Foods. What is so that? Yeah, try it. It's, it's like a jelly slash yeah. honey? Exactly. It's oh beautiful. Gosh. Oh, my and God. Here you go, Mike. some. And oh. it's not overly sweet either. <laughs> so Ooh, there you go. Really and that just finishes good. it off. Okay. And then just, Ooh, you know, nice. for giggles, we, we're going to get a little bit of lemon zest to add that little to it. Okay. Okay. All right, well, it. if nice you would like to uh, find out more about these recipes, uh, he also caters as well. So you can uh, go on our website to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And remember, it is called Box Street Social. All right, and you thank do you any very request. much. <laughs> yes. All right, coming up.
as we take bites of this. <laughs> How would you like your energy bill to be less than $20? Yes, you can. South Texas Solar is here to tell you more. Plus, good music from local artist Allison Garcia, where you can watch her and over 20 other talented artists for free this weekend. I like the word free. Yep, and beautiful table decor that will get the most bang for your buck. Local stylist expert is here to share more tips with us, so stick around. get a fancy table decor look for your wedding. Caroline Garcia is a local designer and I love everything that you do because it's inexpensive, but it looks very fancy. And that's <laughs> a big you. deal, right? Yeah, Especially absolutely. when you're on a budget. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was a bride in October, so you definitely, you have a lot of things coming in and out that you need to spend money on. And so your decor should still be special and it should be unique, um, but it shouldn't make you break the bank. <laughs> well, I love what you said. The decor should also kind of reflect the couple. Absolutely. And I never thought of it that way. Yeah. So so tell me what you have. We can start on this side of the table and, and tell me how you incorporate that. Yeah, absolutely. So here, like, these are some simple details that you can do. You can get these little empty boxes. Um, I think some people use them as, like, jewelry boxes, but what I've done here is actually included some dry flowers that you can Beautiful. kind of mix in the colors of your wedding day. Um, other than that as well, um, we kind of talked a little bit about these, but these are some place cards that you could use. They literally sell them at Home Depot, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. So getting creative with the place card holders, yes. that's also something you can do, right? Yes, absolutely. And it's a really great way to be able to tie in the personality, the quirks of you, and the person that you're marrying. Got um, it. So down here we have um, some of our place setting examples. Um, here it's just you can pick out your favorite colored fabric. Um, the texture, I think, brings something nice to the table. Um, it's wrapped in some gold wire, and then you so add your, your wedding flowers in there to kind of tie in that detail. Um, over here, I love um, finding unique pieces like this. Um, Those are beautiful. I think that, you know, they come from someone else's story and then you get to incorporate them into yours. Um, over here, these are some little examples of place cards that you could use that could also serve as favors for your guests to take home. Um, so maybe you necessarily don't want something with their name on it, mm -hmm. but you can actually put like a quote or a saying that I goes with your that. day. And they can actually take this home with them and it's a little frame that they can kind of look back on in their home and remember your day. That's great. I love getting creative with the favors because, yes. you know, there's mm -hmm. so many different things you can do yes. and they can just put it in somewhere and always think of you. Yeah, right? absolutely. Your love story goes on, mm -hmm. yes. And the dinosaurs are adorable. <laughs> that caught my attention. Tell me about those dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, so these actually came from my husband and I's wedding. Um, for us, one of the things that I really love are dinosaurs. Um, people always say, like, what are the ways that you can bring in the quirks of your relationship, of your story? And so for us, it was a simple way to take plastic dinosaurs. We literally had an assembly line. We had our family there cutting and spray painting. Um, oh and it's goodness. a really fun, unique way to bring that character into your wedding day. It doesn't have to be a serious day. It can reflect that love and that community. And I love um, that you actually do the handwriting. So you have a chalkboard here. Mm -hmm. Yes, so what I is, do. What do you think that adds to it? Um, it adds a personal touch. Um, it's not something that you can buy in the store. You can personalize it based on your bar menu your wedding menu um, like I know Eddie he talked about creating a special menu for your day so this is something that you can have that present and people know what they're eating and they're consuming all right well you're gonna do a letter here yeah. and for more information of course if you want to find her you style any any occasion, Absolutely. even an apartment or anything like that. Sure, why not? So just go to salive.com where we've provided her information. While you continue that, we are going to tell you what's coming up next on the show. A local singer, Allison Garcia, is performing this weekend in Market Square. She has a preview of what you can expect at this fun, family-friendly, free event. Yes, free. Plus, still ahead, learn how to make gooey, gooey garlic and salad cheese fries. David Elder takes us inside the Chuflada food truck. Yum. But first, take a look at this CPS bill and look at the number circled there. That's 72 cents. Yeah, that's total account balance. 72, zero on a CPS bill. Uh, that's not a misprint. Those are actual bills. And 
It seems too good to be true, but Dan Moran from uh, South Texas Solar is here to talk about that. How does that happen? How do people get those bills? Well, how they're doing it, they're taking that leap and making that investment and using that sun to harness that power and reduce their electricity bill with that as you see there. So, okay. yeah, it's a great investment. We are going to talk more about the, the investment and the process, but first want to hear some folks that uh, have those zero bills in their CPS bill. Hi, I'm Quinn Huynh, and I got the solar from South Texas Solar System. Three different companies and South Texas Solar came out to give me a free quote that night. And then, um, and they beat the other two quotes that I got from other companies. It was pretty good. He was very clear and um, his explanations of how it was going to work. Pricing, financial wise, and um, like the technical part of it as well. And then, so we decided to sign on that night. It was pretty high, especially in the summer, and um, because it's so hot. And, but um, ever since we got the solar, it decreased significantly. Most of the months, it's actually it covers 100% of the electricity. I'm saving at least a. 80 to 90 percent of what I usually pay before. They're a good company, they work pretty fast, um, they're very clear, and um, their service is good. Yes, yeah, so ever since I got it installed, and if anybody asks, I do recommend South Te Texas Solar as, um, as to get, for them to get the quotes from South Texas Solar. That is amazing. 100% electricity, 80 to 90% savings per year. So is this typical? Yeah, that is very typical. I mean, what happened there it was, a, it was a great, great example of what solar energy is doing. I mean, why pay more for CPS when you can pay less with solar? So, okay, so how does the whole process work, the installation process? The whole installation is uh, four to five weeks, but the actual for the panels to go on the roof is two days. It's the one day for the panels, one day for the electrical. So everything leading up to that is all the, the forms to fill out the red tape and everything like that, but you do that. Yeah, it's a turnkey opera operation. We do everything. Customers basically, uh, once it's all said and done and commissioned, that's when they'll start making their, their first solar payment. But that's after the system is running. And then there's also the rebates that you get from CPS. Right, right. The, the rebates are, are still in effect. And in fact, there's an extension now. And we just got notified there's actually uh, 70 cents per watt now. So that's a, that's a new, new uh, uh, rebate that's out there. So gosh, I mean, please take advantage of this. Right now is the best time to get started and get sell, go, okay. go solar. And you said it takes about five years maybe to pay these finally off, but you're not adding another monthly bill because right. you're right. replacing your CPS bill. That's with this payment exactly right yeah once once this is all paid paid in, in full your your return on investment depending on the system size either could either be five years or seven years okay boy that sounds that sounds amazing and yeah. getting zero on your cps bill that would just be pennies from heaven basically all right for more information on south Tuller, south texas solar systems pardon me you can call 210-405-8628 210-405-8628 or you can go online to stxsolarsystems.com slash ksat damn thank you very much thank you very much we'll be right back thank you Oh, it's, my goodness. It's, it's a beautiful. big weekend. It yes, is. it's a beautiful day, and it's a big weekend here in Market Square. It is. Of course, Final Four is in town. It is Easter weekend, and with the beautiful weather, this is going to be the it's place gonna be nice, to be right? down here. It's going to be nice, right? You said this weekend? Oh, it's going to be fantastic. So yeah, excited. Really starting right now and then now through the rest of the week and the weekend. So. Yes. Yep. And we have Letty here to give us a little taste of what people can expect because, I mean, the city, they're expecting, what, 90,000 people to oh come in. Word. This is going to be packed. Oh so what do we have here? Well, I tell you, we've got fresh food drinks for everyone. It's going to be a nice hot day, so you'll want to come in and, and get served. We've got mango, lemonade, all kinds. We'll Water have several. Mm -hmm. And what's in the horchata? That's my favorite. Oh. Do you mind pouring me a drink? Yes. <laughs> um, how do you describe it? Maybe for somebody who has never been to San Antonio, who oh, tried this for the first time. It is a rice-based drink. It, of course, it has our secret okay. items Rocky in the book. Won't tell. But, <laughs> but uh, cinnamon being one of them. Mm -hmm. And it uh, it's just a sure, very, very refreshing. You've got to taste that, Mike. It is really good. The watermelon is basically just 
I mean, it is watermelon. It is so mm, intense and sweet and, and refreshing. And refreshing, yes. yes. And that's I'm the point, right? That's the whole point. So mm -hmm. we'll come and visit us, Doña Letiz. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and these will be all over Market Square. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be all kinds of things. Any other food oh. vendors you can mention that will be out oh, here? Oh, there's going to be all, Oh, they can find gorditas, mini tacos, mm -hmm. uh, anything from funnel cakes. Of course, show the aguas. Mm -hmm. But there'll be several, several people serving different. So come um, hungry. This <laughs> is delicious. Do you like that? I'm glad. That's I love his reaction. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I love Mike's eyes. Oh, oh, oh yes, his eyes oh, wait, are very nice. Oh, yes. Just a little hint of cinnamon in there. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of cinnamon in there. <laughs> well, of course, this is the uh, place to be, and there's going to be, like we said, so many vendors, and all the different times and days are on your screen right now. There's going to be, wow. you know, handcrafted it's merchandise, -stop performers, party. everything yes. that you need in one place called Market Square, the final four in Market Square coming up if, this weekend. Yes, you want to have a fun time? Come here. Uh, one of the performers that will be there, she's a regular, Allison Garcia. You may have heard her here in Market Square. We're excited to have her on the show today performing her song, Allison Garcia. Take it away. Las noches serán muy triste pensando solo en tu amor y no puedo olvidarte solo tengo un gran dolor la luna se va apagando y el sol ya va a calentar otro día sin tus besos que me hace suspirar amor 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 que perdido amor la luna se va apagando y el sol ya va a calentar otro día sin tus besos que me hace of the party are listed on your screen and we hope to see you there have a good time all right earlier we asked you have you ever regifted <laughs> something oh my gosh maria i regifted a fruitcake gave it to a former boyfriend he used it as a doorstop at his Top office of the board, former that is a story was he former before or after he got the fruitcake mm -hmm. and <laughs> Coming, oh my goodness, look at that. Coming up next, learn how to make carne gasada cheese fries. Oh, yum. With a spin from Chiflada Food Truck. Yum, 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 yum. But first, here's a look at what's coming to the Tobin Center, brought to you by BMW of San Antonio. with SA Live. Well, I'm out here on Broadway at Still Golden, a new bar right here in San Antonio. And right behind me is Chiflada Food Truck. We're going to try some garnet gasada fries. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to make this at home, but it's not going to taste as good as you can get it here. Chiflada Food Truck chef and operator Jessica Vargas is cranking out delicious homemade food. Like our garnet gasada cheese fries. The carne de quesada is made fresh using an old family recipe. It's a very special recipe that's been in my family for a very long time. Um, it's my dad's recipe. Actually, it's something that my dad always used to make. But this ain't your standard carne de quesada. That's the best carne de quesada fries you're going to get in San Antonio right there. This recipe is a unique spin to the South Texas classic. Today, we're going to run through how to make carne de quesada. You're gonna start out with some beef tips. You always wanna let these guys brown in here before you do anything with them. And let it sear really nice. So then next, we're gonna add fresh tomatoes. You always wanna have fresh, fresh, fresh ingredients. You need tomatoes, onions. I like to use red and green bell pepper and jalapeno. Stir it all around. 
And what you're gonna do with this is literally just let it all break down and all of those juices until this is pretty much all liquefied. And these are some comino seeds. And it's like a nice little secret that I like to use is toasting them. It'll give another depth of flavor. It really brings out that strong, earthy comino. And then we can throw these guys right in here with everything. We want to hit it with our salt, cracked black pepper. Give this guy another whirl. Reserve um, any trimmings that you have whenever you break down the steak and you can make a nice broth out of it. And you can always just throw it in here to just give it a little bit more flavor. So we're just gonna let all of this go for about three hours on low and slow. So this is what you're working with. Three hours later, your carne guisada should look like this. And they go right over our fries. Oaxaca pool cheese. I have this fresh orange pico de gallo. Be really chiflada, add a fried egg. Oh my God. Jessica, thank you so much. I mean, this food is fantastic. You guys gotta come out here to plow the food truck. You guys best gonna get all the fries in San Antonio. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. You love it. I love it. I'm David Elder. And coming up from the I do's to the send off, make your wedding makeup last the entire day without the hassle of reapplying. We'll share a few tips and tricks coming up. Hey, coming up tomorrow at 1, Cakes with an Easter Twist. We're sharing an egg-tastic sweet recipe, perfect for Easter Sunday. Isn't that adorable? Jen, what's going on? Thanks, Mike. Yes, uh, we're continuing on with wedding week, and weddings can be a long day of photos after photo after photo. I have Cash Sims with Naturally You here today to share some tips, and you look beautiful, Thank first you. of all. Thank um, you. So you have some tips and tricks to keep that look going the whole day, yes. right? Yes, uh, ma'am. What are some trends right now? Um, right now, the Pantone color, uh, wedding color of the year is ultraviolet. Oh, so, yes. I, I love that. Too. Yes, so... <laughs> Um, anything, cool. um, purples, lilacs, um, fuchsias, any of those colors are a big hit right now for spring and summer weddings. So that's the color. How yes. do I not know these things? Well, let's move on to our first <laughs> model. I know, I'm so behind on the trends, but look at this beautiful, like, what is your name? <laughs> Vanessa, okay, so what do we have going with Vanessa today? We're focusing on eyes, I assume? Yes, mm -hmm. we are focusing on the eyes with her. Um, we did the, close your eyes? We did the violet wow. with just a pop of gold, just to kind of, Give us some pizzazz. Beautiful. And again, th this is the color. Yes, that is the color. So we, since we went bold on the eyes, we went very neutral on the lips just to give her eyes the focus. Got it. So any tips on applying? So if somebody's going to try to apply eyeshadow, I see how you have it. You know, should they do the crease first or what's the tip there? Um, I would definitely, my number one tip would be use a primer because okay. you want it to last all day. So you always have to set a very good foundation and a very good base. So a really good primer before you set it will make your eyes really pop. I have a question with primer. How much do you put? Um, just a just little? Just literally like less than a pea size okay. for each good eye. Good to know. Yes. I've been doing it wrong. Okay, let's move <laughs> on to the next model. <laughs> That's why you're here with the tips. Okay, what is it? What is your name? Aziza. Okay, what are we focusing on? And for Miss Aziza, we're focusing on the lips. Beautiful. So for like your non-traditional brides, your brides that want to do something a little bit more different, um, the purple lip. It is very trendy for this season. I, I have my purple lip I too. love it. <laughs> I noticed that right away. So don't be afraid of the color. Don't be afraid right? of color. And if you do a bold lip, just go very neutral on the eyes because you want the focus to be on one thing and you want to paint a very pretty canvas and not overdo it. I love that. I love how you, the eyes, there's not as much, but the lips are the focus. Yes. Beautiful. Let's we'll move on to our, our last model, Aisha Love. And what are we focusing on? You look beautiful. And for Miss Aisha, we focused on giving her highlight because highlight is all the rave right now. Everybody yes. loves the highlight. There's so many different kinds. Yes. So we did a very light gold. Um, blending is your friend. So you can apply as much as you want. Just make sure you blend it all blend. in. Um, this is actually the Fenty Beauty and Hustler Baby. So Got it. we did the highlight just on those. the cheekbones, on the nose, on the um, the forehead, 
and a little bit on the chin just to give it some pop. So more on the cheekbones? Yes. And then just a Anywhere down. where the sunlight, the natural sunlight hits you is what you want to concentrate on. Got it. So we have 30 seconds, but Aisha, you are one of the co-founders of Naturally You, and tell yes. me why this is important to you, because you guys have classes coming up, but quickly. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's important for us because it's really all about self-care, Natural You. Naturally You is about a lifestyle and promoting, you know, self-love for ourselves, taking care of ourselves, and mostly knowing how to do it. And empowering women of all ethnicities. Yes. Um, one of the tips you mentioned, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Yes. yes. All right. So class <laughs> is coming up and we have their information on our website, salive.com. Ladies, you look beautiful. We're proud and love it. We'll be right back. It's our to re-gift or not to re-gift? That is the question. We received a bird clock, the kind that has the song of a bird playing on the hour. Twelve different birds. I gave it to my sister thinking it would be into the fruitcake kind of gift, but she loved it and still has it. It's been about ten years or more. Oh, you never know. You yeah. see? You just never know. Oh, and Aww. Cynthia, thanks for sending this in. We still have our contest going on, so submit your wedding photos and we will pick I'll win a date to yep. the Majestic Theater as well. The beautiful ladies, thank you once again. And by the way, somebody's got a birthday today. Happy birthday!